Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant November release. Remember, this is Mama Elephant's last release for 2023. They will be back in January for another fun, creative year. Leave a comment for a chance to win a prize from Mama Elephant. This release will be available on November 15th. Today we are kicking it off with Me and My Legend. I love this new addition to the Me and My series. In the past, they've had Me and My Dragon, Me and My Dinosaur, Me and My Yeti. Um, I forget the other ones, but those have been some of my favorite stamps. It features sort of larger images and then tiny ones. And this one is also very appropriate for Chinese New Year because 2024 is Year of the Dragon. I love, so my two favorite stamps are the giant dragon, and then also I really love the little bunny in the cloud. So cute. I made two different sort of themes of cards for this today. I made a Chinese New Year theme, and then I also made a fairy tale theme also. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for me and my legend. Next up is a sentiment stamp set. This is called New Beginnings. It has different sort of beginning of the year sayings, Happy New Year. Also has a few in there special to Chinese New Year. These look great stamps alone, but if you would like, they do have coordinating dies for this stamp set. And here's a look at that. Here's a look at Not Of Luck Creative Cuts, and it features a couple of pieces. It has that frame piece, also a oval piece that you can use as a mat if you would like to use over uh, the frame. And it also has a Chinese knot tassel um, with different little pieces that you can use to layer on top of it to make it look more dimensional. You can use these dies together or all uh, separately if you like. First, we'll be coloring in the images. I'm using Copic markers today. And so I was kind of studying up on these dragons to see how I would color it. Um, Cause they, <laughs> I always get scared when I have to color big images. So I was kind of staring at it, trying to figure out a plan of attack. So I figured out in my head that there's like three main pieces of the dragon. There's the belly, the body, and then the fur part. So I'm just gonna attack these parts separately. So it, I would have like, an outline of how I would be coloring in these images. So first I'm going to color in the body and I am kind of outlining where I want my darker shading to be, but I'm starting off with my lighter color first, which is R20. So when I layer my darker color over it, it'll be easier to blend when I blend it out with R20. So I started it off with R20 and then I put R22 on top and then I'm blending it out with R20 again. So I kind of wanted this to have a red and yellow feel. The first card we'll be making is the uh, Chinese New Year themed card. Um, so I wanted these to be the very traditional red and gold colors. For the gold, I'm using yellow. And this now to fade to white. So I'm kind of blending it out with a very light R color. I think it's R triple zero. And then the R triple zero kind of like bleaches the darker color up on top. So I'm going over again with R20. So it just blends really nicely. Um, so next I'm gonna attack the fur and I'm doing my lighter color first, outlining what I want dark, which is the R20 and then R22. And then when I'm done with that, um, I'm going to put the darker color over what I just did R24 and then I'm going to go back to R22 and blend out that dark color. Um, I find reds to be a little bit harder so I like to prep the part where I'm going to put the dark color with the color before it so it's easier to blend out. I like how Mama Elephant comes out with these uh, Lunar New Year products every year, but you can, but I love this stamp set too because it's double duty. You can use it for a Chinese New Year and then also you can make some really cute fairy tale cards with these um, because it comes with little fairies. It's so cute. So for the gold color, I'm using YR31 and YR30. And so you can blend out the belly. That's the third part that I'm attacking. 
um, either like as one piece and do the shading on one side and blend out, or you could do it um, by segment, which I did that for the fairy tale card. So we're gonna color in the other dragon and um, this one is smaller, but I'm attacking it the same way. I'm doing, I think the fur part first on this one, and then I'm gonna do the body and then I'm gonna do the belly. So for the greens, I used BG32 for the darker shade, BG11 and BG10. Um, I wanted there to be a difference between the fur and the body color so I did darken up the fur color later with the BG32. There's some markers that I don't have to pre-prep with the lighter color and the BGs are really easy to blend out so you don't have to really um, you know prep the darker color first. So you can use whatever fun colors that you want. Um, for the fur color, I did BG32 and BG11, and then I did BG11, BG10 for the body part. Um, and then I always do the end of that tail, like the darker color, so I did BG32 for that. So for the belly, I did the segment shading with just a purple marker V20, and for the darker purple, I did V25 for the horns. The stamp set also comes with these cute, tiny stamps, and they're supposed to look way smaller than the larger images. So I love these. I love how you can make a little fairy tale scene with them. You wouldn't even have to use the dragons either if you just wanted to use these tiny stamps. But I just did some really simple coloring. These are super tiny, so there's no need to blend. But I did outline all of the clouds in B triple zero and then the hair on the fairies I did E23 I used the same pinks for the fairies um, R20 and R22 and then I think I did for the green ones BG32 and BG11 and then I also made another set I made a purple set v12 and v15 so i'll be pairing all of these cards with the new beginnings stamp set and this is a sentiment stamp set and um, this is the first time i'm using it so i always like to prep my stamp by kind of rubbing it with my hands and then i am just going to stamp these out in versafine onyx black ink i would normally stamp this out in red but i i <laughs> I think my red ink pad died, so um, RIP ink pad. So I love how these sentiments look, and I especially love how it looks when um, you use it with the coordinating dies. So I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending here. I have mustard seed, and I'm just doing it on that oval panel from the new Creative Cut set. And I'm just doing a little bit of yellow at the bottom. For my fairy tale card, I'm using the Turn the Page Creative Cuts. It's the one that looks like a book, and I'm doing some light shading with Dusty Concord Distress Oxide ink at the bottom. So here's a closer look at the Knot of Luck. It comes with this cover piece, a oval piece if you want to layer it, and that Chinese knot tassel with the extra pieces that you can layer on top to create more dimension. I'm going to create my tassel. I've cut it out in red. I wanted mine to be all red and I'm just taking the different pieces that you can layer and I'm adding it to the die cut and it looks so good when you layer in all the extra pieces. I did the square behind the tassel so you can see the knot detail and then I'm adding the tassel um, at the bottom and then there's also these little bead pieces that you can attach as, as well but I did it all in red just so it looks like it has um, some dimension to it and I do compare one that has the dimension and then one that I didn't do that to and you can see that there's um, a difference so depending on what you like you can decide to layer on the extra pieces or not this uh, knot looks really cute in person so I'm just adding the three little beads there you can also do it in 
um, like gold paper too. Um, I just wanted mine one color. So that's what it looks like compared to one that doesn't have the extra pieces and one that does. So I'm going to make a simple card. This is the all die cut card using all of the pieces from the set. So I cut out the back piece in red and then I'm using that oval piece in white and then I'm just going to put on uh, my tassels up front. Super simple. And I'm going to pair it up with one of the sentiments from the New Beginnings stamp set. I chose one of the Chinese New Year sentiments from the set, and it does have a little translation at the bottom too, so you know what that means. This card was super easy to make. I felt like I cheated because it's just using the die die set along with uh, one of the sentiments. So I'm calling that card done and I am just adhering it to a card base to complete that card. So for the second card, I'm using the Knot of Luck Creative Cuts again. And at this time I'm using the oval that we ink blended with mustard seed just to add a little bit more color to the card. And then I'll be adding in the two giant dragons up front. And I just love how this card uh, turned out. I will be adding one of the sentiments from the New Beginning stamp set, Happy Lunar New Year. And the stamp set also comes with these cute little stars. And you guys know I love using stars, so I had to add them on just for another pop. So I am in fact a dragon in Chinese New Year, so it's super exciting. Hopefully I have a lot of luck in 2024. So I'm just going to pop that onto a card base and I'm calling that card done. For the final card, I'll be making my fairy tale theme card. So I thought it would be cute to use the Turn the Page Creative Cuts. It's the one that looks like a book that's open to pair up with the fairy tale theme. So I'm taking all the different layers and I'm adhering it to the card base. So I have a purple book and then white pages and that's the one we ink blended with the um, distress oxide ink at the bottom. So I'm just taking all of the images we colored and I'm just placing them everywhere. <laughs> and I'm using the New Beginnings uh, sentiments. And I chose the ones that are not Chinese New Year theme and they worked perfect for the card. So I'm just placing as many images as possible because I did a lot of coloring <laughs> and a lot of die cutting. So I like to use all the pieces that I um, made. So I just tried to put as much as possible on um, the card. <music> So after I had heard everything, I didn't like how the card looked um, and I thought the book needed to pop more. So I cut out <laughs> the white uh, background and then I popped it on a purple card base and I like that so much more. So that is it. Those are my three cards. I'm calling them done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe. Happy crafting and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.